Hi, I'm Noah. Hey, I'm Tafar. And I'm Cam. Welcome to It's Been Brilliant, where the whole wide world comes together to enjoy some brilliant content. Right. Guys, welcoming back to the channel is Tafara. Welcome back, Tafara. How's your day going? Oh, my day is amazing. I rode a monkey uh, all the way here just to film this video. This video is going to be a top 10 list of the best movies in our opinion of 2019. All right, guys, are we ready to get into it? Let's see our top 10. Let's go. Number, Number 10. 10. We decided Toy Story 4 starting, starring Tim Allen, Tom Hanks, and of course, legendary Canadian Keanu Reeves. Toy Story 4 was an amazing movie. It's got action, it's got comedy, it's got animation. It was fantastic, guys. The humor and everything just combined together to make it one of the best movies of 2019 by far. I think it's one of the best movies of all time. I didn't see it. I saw a trailer, but I saw that spoon and I was like, oh, this movie goes down. <laughs> Number nine. That is the best piece of virtual art I've ever seen. Like, it was yeah. such good movie literature, and I think it deserves number nine. Okay. I think you should work on your literature. Number eight. So number eight for me, personally, would definitely be Jordan Peele's Us. Oh my gosh. Us, the whole story about it was amazing. And I loved how Jordan Peele actually did something uh, about doppelgangers. Because personally, I would be super scared if the movie Us came to life. But listen here, Tafara. No comedy movie is ever bound to be on a top 10. It's a horror movie. Yeah. yeah, but it's made by a really bad comedian. What are you saying? Whoa. He's Academy oh Award winning. Okay, so ca so Cassim is number seven. Guys, I am super pumped about this one that I got to talk about number seven because Spider-Man Far From Home is easily one of the best movies films of all time. I'm telling you, comedy. I'm telling you, awkward teenage romance. That's that's our lives. That's relatable. If a filmmaker can pass over that, that's amazing. What do you guys think? I absolutely love Ned. Ned was the star of the movie, and that awkward relationship between him and that wannabe Gwen Stacy, that was amazing. I mean, isn't it obvious? Andrew Garfield was better. Oh. So His fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so okay. fired. Attention seeker. Uh, 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 number six. six. All right, guys. So number six goes out to Captain Marvel. Captain Five. Marvel? Captain oh Marvel? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Guys, she represents everything good about Marvel superheroes. She's the only one who doesn't die? Stuck up, she's uptight. What, what are we doing? What are we talking about here? We are talking about the best movies of 2019. Captain, and Captain Marvel, Marvel? Absolutely Captain, not. No. And Captain Marvel, I swear, Stan Lee did more in all the Marvel movies than Captain Marvel. Agreed. He stole the show. That should have been his movie. That, exactly. That's what Stan Lee, Marvel, there's an idea. Number five. All right, so my number five movie is Child's Play 2019. And yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no, no. What? Why? Why? Explain. Explain. Okay. So, in my personal opinion, I think Child's Play 2019 is disgusting. About equivalent to An the abomination. original Child's Play. Not at all. I th how it dealt with relate how it dealt with relationships nope. and friendships nope. and how how it also talked about technology. How today our did listen up. Did the original have anything to do with technology? This is not no. an infomercial about technology. We're talking about a movie here. This is art. A remake. Oh, yeah. You compare this to art. I think I think Child's Play 2019 is one of the best movies. Okay, Tafara, my big question to you is: Can you see this going to the Academy Awards, winning an Oscar, the biggest honor in the entire universe of movies? Okay, let me say this: The CGI was good. The themes were all. Can right, you see it winning something? And it was okay, but no. Number four. Guys, Avengers Endgame, legendary movie of all time. One, the, it, it's the biggest box office opening ever. It was probably the best movie of 2019 and best movie of the decade. Like for sure. Um, Robert Downey Jr. started um at the beginning of this decade. I think it was 2013, 2011, and he ended in 2019. I really think that he deserves the Oscar, and I know that currently right now people are thinking of a different guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but 
I really don't want him to steal Robert Downey Jr.'s Oscar because he truly is the man of the day. Number three. All right, guys, so number three goes on to Shazam. Zachary Levi did a fantastic job getting built up like Dwayne The Rock Johnson for the role. This man was so damn cool with his Dancing power, up. with his powers and everything he did. This guy, oh my gosh, he will change your mind. Number two. Pet Cemetery 2019. Yes, I know. It is very much so not a movie that anyone would think of being one of the best, but I think it was the best of 2019 and my favorite overall movie. The acting was 20 was 10 out of 10. Everything about it was just 10 out of 10. And I truly believe that it deserves an Oscar and it is truly underrated. You know, I think out of all of Stephen King's works, it's it probably It's a stinky version. The least impressive. Number one! I didn't agree to that. All right, let's all sit on three. One, one two, two, three. three. Joker. Joker 2019. Oh. Performance, we're talking story, characters, the people. First, the, it, it, the first it, it, half of the story was good, second half, uh, that was a six. What are you talking about? You this saying? reflects real life situations and Over therapy, the first mental half illness. Guy, this is amazing. I don't know, this this was a work of art that people need to appreciate, and I think changes I, the movie industry forever. You know I what? honestly truly believe- Wonder what you are? You're a Jared Leto lover, oh. and he was the worst Joker. You cannot say oh. that Joaquin's work was down here. I th Jared Leto's work is in the trash bin. I it's right here, and it stays here. Heath Ledger, he can never be topped, all right? But Joaquin, he's right here, all right? And after that movie, he slowly made his way up. You know what? Heath Ledger's probably up there looking down at him saying like, you did a good job today, kid. You did a good job. And you're oh. sitting here talking trash about it. Do you wanna know what I say so far? Pet Cemetery sucked! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. And be and sure to- thank you, Cameron, for bringing me to this show. I am really happy, and- Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, share this post on all social media platforms. Have a great night <laughs> to you all, and uh, it's, it's been, been brilliant. brilliant.